Today's demonstration is about formatting data recovery for a Western Digital 2TB desktop hard drive. The specific model is WD20EZAZ, and the circuit board number is 800077. It belongs to Western Digital's consumer-grade Blue Disk series. After formatting, the underlying data becomes all zeros. Now, we connect the hard drive to MRT to check the specific situation. We are using MRT software version 2.1.9.3 for this demonstration, which is the latest version as of February 2014. After connecting the hard drive, checking sector 0 shows partition information, but the subsequent sectors are all filled with zeros. Since formatting was done by the Windows system, the hard drive can still be seen with a drive letter when mounted on the computer. We now mount the hard drive through MRT to the computer to check its status. A WD20 EZAZ drive appears on the computer, which is the drive formatted by the user. The entire drive is empty. We open WinHex to inspect the raw data, and it is all empty. This is a typical situation after formatting a Western Digital Shingled Magnetic Recording drive. To recover the original data from the formatted drive, we need to deal with the entries in the 190 module. For demonstration purposes, this drive has already been unlocked. Now, we can use the T2 editor to view the 190 data in use in the memory. The expanded view shows T2 data called by 190, with each entry managing a segment of LBAs. Each LBA segment consists of a series of shingled regions. The first LBA node ranges from 0 to 524279. Regarding these entries, except for the first and second ones containing valid shingle data, most of the other entries are primarily highlighted in yellow. All of them represent empty shingled regions. Recovering a formatted shingled magnetic recording SMR, hard drive involves reorganizing LBA segments and shingled regions. We need to extract all LBA indexes from the 190 module. We read the 190 module using a track-by-track -track method. After reading, we save the 190 module to a folder. First, we load the 190 module into the T2 editor in normal mode. The results are similar to the previous T2 data read from memory, with empty entries. Then, we load the 190 module again, this time selecting the option to find all nodes of the 190 module. The refreshed 190T2 data now includes all LBA indexes. Many identical LBA index segments have different shingled compositions, so the same LBA node has multiple possibilities. The previously formatted T2 memory data is also included. Now that we know the node 0 to 524279 is the formatted node, we can choose a different starting node as a reference to rebuild the T2 LBA index. Generally, the starting point, which is the first entry, is often the most frequently repeated and likely the commonly used node. Commonly used nodes are likely the LBA nodes used before formatting. Here, the range from 0 to 7749 has the highest repetition frequency. Now, we choose a node from 0 to 7749 to perform T2 compiler reconstruction. For the reconstruction of a formatted hard drive's 190 module, we generally use reconstruction method 1 or 2. In this demonstration, we choose to rebuild T2 using method 1. After reconstruction, the LBA nodes are rearranged based on 0 to 7749. The composition of the nodes has completely changed, the previous yellow entries have now turned green. Within these green nodes shingled regions, there is data. We save the reconstructed T2 data for comparison. When loading the original 190, MRT's log interface shows 0 GB of valid data.
Loading the reconstructed T2 data shows 1,282 gigabytes of valid data, indicating that the reconstructed T2 index can locate previous valid data. However, since this is a manually searched entry for index reconstruction, incorrect index segments may occur. It is necessary to confirm the size of the original data with the customer. We write the reconstructed T2 index into the hard drive's memory to make it effective. After writing, we attempt to read the hard drive sectors, and previously empty sectors now have data. To visually inspect, we create a DE task to check the partition table, and data is now displayed in the partition table. We randomly check a few photo files, and they can be opened successfully. We then mount the hard drive to Windows and check it with WinHex. Now, the underlying sectors of this Western Digital hard drive show data. Sometimes, even after loading T2 data, the hard drive may not read the partition table. In such cases, third-party tools are needed. After completing the sector imaging of the partition table, we can scan the partitions to view the data. Now let's copy the data in DE and see if copy can go smoothly. We set a shorter timeout for imaging the hard drive to accelerate the process. Most sectors now contain data. Occasionally, there may be power interruptions during hard drive reading, causing T2 data in RAM to be lost in sectors to revert to all zeros. In such cases, we need to switch back to the T2 editor and rewrite the reconstructed T2 data. That concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.